Welcome to CBS 2018 here in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Brahim Asanu, who is the director of the Telecommunication Development Bureau for ITU. Mr. Asanu, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. It's a great pleasure. Now, we're here at CBS 2018. It's a, an important event in ITU's calendar. Perhaps we could talk a little bit about why this event is important for BDT and for, for ITU and, of course, for the world in, in general. Mm -hmm. And uh, and also just here about being here in, in Santo Domingo as well, about being in, in the Americas region. Mm. Well, thank you very much. Um, you know, for the Telecommunication Development Bureau, uh, capacity building is one of our main, actually, uh, activities. And capacity building is so important in every part of our life, but particularly in the ICT sector. You know, now we are embarking in emergency, uh, emerging technologies, such as big data, internet of things, uh, artificial intelligence, and we want to use all these emerging technologies for development. Then we need we are at the turning point of our, 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 of our uh, uh, industry today where we need to build new capacity for the new jobs to come and make sure that we make the transition from what we are called the uh, incumbent job to the new one because nobody should be left behind in this development. Technology is meant for people and we have to make it work for people. In order to do that, we need to build their capacity. And this is what, why it is very important. And personally, I'm following this particular program on the capacity building because I know that through that, that we can make a difference in the life of people. It is through that, that we can tap really into the potentials of ICTs for development. So um, this is the first time we're having that in the Latin American countries and the Caribbean. Caribbean um, is very important for us. This is a country where a lot of things are happening. When I visited this country last year, I have the opportunity to be presented with the Republica Digital. I found that this is a country where a lot of things are happening. This is a country where the vision and the commitment were there. I found that it was good to have this kind of meeting in Dominican Republic so we can share their experience and they can also learn from what is happening elsewhere in order to streamline and fine tune what they are doing. So I'm very happy to be here and we have been so well received here that there were no, no better place to have this meeting this year. And how, how important is it that the, the country really takes uh, the education of young people on board that uh, puts the technology at their fingertips? This is the challenge now. Uh, how do we um, from the ICT sector, make sure that we share the, all the potential of ICTs with the education sector. What I'm, I've been doing for the past three years is to bring the ICT sector to UNESCO to make sure that we talk to the people who are going to use the ICTs. So I think that through that, uh, we are going more and more to get uh, the uh, education policy taking into account ICT as one of the tools. I don't want to say the main, at least one of the most important tools that can help them to achieve their result and achieve the sustainable development goals in education and health more rapidly if they have to, than if they have to go with the means they have today. ICT actually is particularly for developing countries, I would say a golden mine to achieve, to accelerate the achievement of the SDGs, particularly in those sensitive area and important area like education, health, agriculture. And apart from events such as this, which are of course I I increasingly important and, and we've heard the value of these events from a lot of the participants here, how do you see ITU's role in advancing the sustainable development goals? As you know, uh, when you look at the Sustainable Development Goals, there is no goal about ICTs. Yes, uh, we in the ICT sector should be proud of that. Means, that means that ICT is not actually a problem. It is not a mass problem like education, like health. ICT is a solution. As such, 
I see the role of ITU and ICT in general as one of the, the tool and one of the most important tools today to accelerate the achievement of all the 17 SDGs. You can use ICT in all the 17 SDGs as a tool, not a mean, not a, a end by itself, but as a tool to accelerate all the 17 SDGs. This is why actually we are so committed because we know we can make impact in every each of the SDGs. And this is, is giving us a big role to play, but it's an exciting role to be useful to the society. Now here, this symposium, there are participants from all over the world, and they've, they've traveled a long way to be here, some of them. Some of them are from the region, but some of them have, uh, have spoken to this morning from Thailand, from, I mean, from lots of different countries around the globe. What do you hope people will take away from their participation here at this event? As you know, ITU is offering a platform, a platform where people come, a neutral platform. This is very important, very neutral platform, where people come give and take. So we have very good presentations, uh, very good panelists who are really bringing different perspective of the same issue. I'm sure that everybody is go, will go out from this uh, uh, symposium rich of, rich of a lot of perspectives. When you add all those pers perspectives to what you know already, you become another person. I'm imagining that all the participants here will go back totally different from the person who came here because of uh, what, uh, of course, not only what they received, but they gave to others as well. And capacity building is just about that. Mr. Stanley, thank you. One more time. Mr. Stanley, thank you very much indeed. A great pleasure. This is uh, what we are doing, and we are very happy to be. I feel very excited and very passionate about capacity building, and I will continue to uh, to consider everything to make sure that we build not only the capacity of individuals, but also build the institutional capacity. They, they both go together for me. We have individual capacity and also institutional capacity in order to make sure that we use the capacity building to advance the betterment of humanity. Very worthy and inspiring goals. Thank you very much Thank indeed. Thank you so much. A Thank great you. Pleasure.